this this just popped in my head so I thought I would do another drive talk thing um, I've been having reoccurring dreams where my sisters are in them all the time and I woke up this morning going oh my god I think I know now why I keep having these dreams that are repetitive because I finally realized I got it this time and it was pretty much how to deal with people like that in your life if you had to like if I had to be in a room and somebody I didn't like was there so whether it be my sisters or just somebody in general which I don't run into very much out here thankfully because I don't have um, enemies out here which I did back in California because like I said I think my sister smear campaigned me because it was so weird that I, I have people who didn't like me and I didn't know them yet you know I would just be in for the first time and they were jerks and I know it's Orange County as well but just like what the hell <laughs> um, so the thing was though here's the deal though this is the background of my narc sister the middle one is and this is what happened in my dream that's why I was like when I was doing practice runs constantly this dream would be like a constant repetitive dream um, every night and then also the same dream would repeat itself that same night as well is that if I ever told my sister, say we're going to a party, say we're doing something, this is in real life, and I would say, oh, so-and-so's going to be there? Great. Like, I, I put that out there. It was like she would always automatically, like, go towards that person and be their friend more than anyone else in the room. It's like she, it was like on purpose. It's so weird. And stupid me wouldn't get it. Like, you don't have to say anything. Like, you can remain silent, you know? That's my fault for not figuring that one out. It's like, I don't know why I felt compelled to share how I thought about things all the time, whether they were good or bad. It's like, just just don't. Just don't do that. By the way, I don't run uh, red lights, but I notice people out here do. Um, a little scarier than Orange County driving, not gonna lie. This one guy got pissed off at me because I didn't run a red. I was like, are you kidding me right now? You're seriously gonna be mad at me because I stopped. <laughs> because he was behind me. I guess he wanted to run it. I saw his hands flailing like a crazy guy. I'm like, oh my god. Weird. And then I always think, you must be from Orange County and you moved out here. <laughs> anyway, so my dream was, um, again, I was in a scenario. My sisters were there. This time my daughter was in it too. And I finally, like, it was like, okay, scene one, and then it'd be like, cut, redo, because I wasn't reacting correctly. So my first reaction would have been, telling my daughter, oh, so your answer here, you know, just putting it out there, making it uncomfortable now for her. And then also I have a friend out here who, um, I kind of was relying on a little too much and she felt kind of pressured with that. Cause she's like, you know, don't put me on a pedestal like that. It makes me uncomfortable. And I thought you're, you're right. I do like admire how she is because she's very low key and chill and she doesn't take anyone's crap but she doesn't start confrontations or anything like that she just lays low lives her life simply and and has no enemies no problem and I'm like how can I be like you <laughs> but in my dreams she was always in them like being out like my support my side my sidekick and I told her that my god like, oh, just you're always in there like no matter where I'm at you're there you know to support well we had this conversation not too long ago where she was like, you know, can you not put me on a pedestal because it's too much pressure. I feel like I have to do right all the time. And if I don't, I can disappoint you. So I'm like, you're right. You know, it's hundred percent true. So my dream was this time she wasn't there at all. Um, my daughter was there. My sisters were there as well. And the final dream that I didn't, I think it's going to finally be done where it's not going to repeat tonight <laughs> was that I was in the situation where I didn't, people I didn't like or felt uncomfortable with I just did my thing I didn't bother to point it out I didn't tell my daughter that they were there I didn't call my friend to come over and be my support I just was me by myself I did it all on my own and I just laid low I just enjoyed the people that I did like in the room and I didn't talk much I didn't overshare any thoughts I didn't want to be the spotlight of the you know party or anything I didn't overdo anything to cause a scene or have something for my sisters to talk about when they got home I just stayed chill and it worked <laughs> I woke up going I mean I was I can I don't know if it's lucid dreaming where you know you're dreaming but you're
you're still asleep, but you're aware of what's going on because you can kind of create your dreams, you know, like you, you're you aware of the dream and you're making the storyline happen. But that's what was going on because I wake up a lot throughout the night and look at the clock and go, what time do I have to wake up, you know, kind of thing. So um, it was like, yay, you did it. That's how you're supposed to be. That's how you're comfortable be. I'm not one of those people who likes to be um, confrontation kind of person where I start fights with people. Um, but there's like, you know, actually, I will say there was a girl I don't like out here. Well, she doesn't live out here. She comes out here sometimes because, you know, people like to go to Vegas. Um, and sometimes she's in this one group I, I'm around and I don't like going if she's going to be there. So that would be a perfect example because she's just one of those like obnoxious drunk people. Like she's, she's just, I don't mind her being the center of attention. It's just, she's just not very friendly. And, um, she's just obnoxious and dumb. You're just like, ew, like, why are you here? <laughs> I kind of wonder the people that are in that group, like, why do you all hang out with her? I don't get it. Like, she's not that special, I don't think. She's just, you know, she uses the, um, I don't know, I'm not going to go into detail. <laughs> anyway, her background of being, like, a daughter of, you know, somebody like, oh my god, I'm, like, a crazy girl now because, you know, I was raised this way, but it's like, you know, you don't have to. You're older than me, and you, you're acting s silly. And I know I act immature, but that's like, come on. <laughs> like, that's embarrassing. Um, anyway, so that'd be a perfect example of being in a scenario where I got to be around someone I don't really care for. It's not like I purposely want to be there. I purposely kind of avoid going to places like that now. But if it happened to happen where I'm like, oh, I didn't realize this person's going to be there this is how I should act. It was almost kind of like, this is how you're supposed to do it. This is the plan. It works perfectly, flawlessly, and all is well. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, that's my uh, video for today.